All right, everyone. Well, welcome to Door TV again. And today we're back at our local cafe, the Swan Cafe, and we've done this is our third video in a row from there because we've wanted to try some of the local sort of fish and chip shop stuff that's a bit different. Uh, and today, and I've mentioned this in the last video, uh, we're doing the prawn burger, which sounds good. Now, with this prawn burger, um, I think it's going to be a pretty simple affair. I don't know what's on it because I didn't ask. Um, it was $7.50, so $7.50 each, which I think is all right. Uh, but I added cheese as well uh, because I thought that would be a nice little touch. Don't you think, Bill? Yep. All right, so I'll hand you yours, mate. There's yours there. They just come in a like a white bag and they're done up and they've got some paper on them. And I'll just put that down there, but that's essentially it there. You can't see much oh, yeah. in it. But if you look in there closely, it's got a like a, a putty. I'll try and get a better view for you guys out of that. This is a bit better. That <laughs> mills hold the bag up. You can see that crispy patty in there. It's a crispy style patty. See that guys? Yay! And I'm gonna think or assume that that is basically like prawn sort of mixed in with other things as well to form a patty maybe I don't know what maybe egg or whatever but that's what I think it's going to be like so a little bit processed maybe. but nonetheless we're going to try it anyway um, let's put that there Don, so you don't get any too many crumbs because I think we're going to get a few crumbs but let's have a bite and see what it's like There it is there. Can't see too many prawns in there. I'm just having a look to see what it is. It's got a sort of a fishy texture to it. So I'm gonna say it's fish in there. If I find some prawns, I'll tell you. It doesn't taste too bad. Mmm, yep. There it is. It's almost like a fish cake, Bill. I'm gonna just deconstruct this burger a bit to show you guys the actual patty. I've just deconstructed it, but there it is there. Oh yeah. So it's like a deep fried sort of patty. And I still can't see, to me, oh yeah, there's a little bit of prawn there. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but what it is, it's got a whole heap of sort of processed, mashed up prawn. You can see that there, you might be able to make it out. So you can't make out really any full prawns, but the flavor's okay. It's almost like a fish cake. Put a comment below if you've tried a fish cake. They're pretty much a staple in Aussie um, cafes. But anyway, it doesn't taste too bad. Plenty of mayo, it's moist. It's got um, lettuce, mayo, cheese, and the bun is buttered and toasted. The bun is crispy on the outside, soft in the middle, it's fresh. Um, so a little bit processed, but it's okay. It hey, does prawns in like the um, patty. Mmm. There's little prawns in amongst it. Tiny little ones. And I guess, other than using premium prawns on it, that's the way they're going to do it in a fast food uh, outlet. I like the bun because the bun's um, got that crunchiness about it yet it's nice and soft in the middle and I like that it's toasted and buttered because it just adds that extra flavour to it so that's not too bad mm. plenty of mayo there see there guys plenty of mayo but I've got to admit the actual patty itself is quite processed, but you can see it, it does have fish in it. Damn you! Um, it's almost like some of the oven fish you might get. That's the sort of flavor I'm getting. I'm not getting a very prawny flavor. But anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll polish these off and we'll come back and we'll give it a rating out of 10 for you guys, so sit tight. <laughs> Everyone, well, 
we finished that and you know it was um a burger that filled me up and there were things i really liked about it firstly excuse me the bun always good buns there they use the same buns for all their burgers i like how they toast them like i said they've sort of got that crunchiness on the outside but they're soft and fluffy on the inside and they butter them and i reckon that makes a big difference as well with this burger however and i'm not saying the ingredients weren't well cooked or they weren't fresh or anything like that um you know except for the patty it was the patty because the patty sort of let it down it was really processed i reckon it had a lot of fish in there um mixed in with some really tiny prawns that had been chopped up um, now that's fine because I mean I, I didn't expect too much because for a price like that if you're going to get real prawns on a burger I think or you know full prawns for that matter um, it'd cost you a lot more than $7.50 I'm glad I added the cheese the mayo added that tang to it so it needed to be there otherwise it would have been a very bland burger but I found that the patty was too processed didn't have enough flavor and was uh, that therefore and was quite bland uh, so for me, I can only give this one a 6 out of 10, guys. I wouldn't go back and get it, although I'm glad I tried it because I wanted to. Um, but it did fill me up. You know, I'm not complaining too much. It did fill me up. It's just not the best thing I've ever eaten. It just needed more flavour and probably some bigger prawns in that patty, and I would have been prepared to pay a little bit more. Bill, what did you think, and what are you going to give it out of 10, mate? I'm going to give it a 7. 7? Well, you give it a little bit higher than me. And what did you think of the burger? Four. The patty was a mm. bit tasteless. And mm. That was probably the, the main thing, wasn't it? The mayo and the cheese helped it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like the bun? Yeah. Yeah, the bun. The buns are good there. So that's it, guys. A, a local eat segment again, um, and we won't be doing one for a little while. I don't think. Uh, we'll get on to some other things. Uh, some people have asked for supermarket grabs, so I think we might get back into that and do some products um, because that's always fun. Um, so that's what we might do up next. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell because uh, then you'll know when we upload a new video because we really want to catch you next time on... Door TV! Woo! Let's go home, Bill. It's too hot here. Way too yeah. hot.